Hey guys, it's me, Vic723, and welcome to a brand new video. A trailer has just been leaked for Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 1. So what Fortnite is going to be when it comes back? Obviously, it disappeared, left everyone quite literally in the dark. And I know tons of you have been waiting to find out more about what we can expect in Season 2 and, oh sorry, not Season 2, in Chapter 2. And some ideas of, uh, you know, when it is coming back. The suspicions are it will either be later today or tomorrow, from what I've heard from the majority of people, as for the time, is all over the place. Interestingly enough, if you go on Fortnite China, um, it seems to be ending literally when this video has gone out, but this may be in eight hours time or nine hours time because of the time difference to China, um, or it could be tomorrow. We really just don't know at the moment. But to start things off, we are going to just watch the trailer. I'm going to take you guys through it. Uh, just to see it, and then I'm going to go through it frame by frame and uh, talk about some of the new stuff that you may not have spotted when we went through it just on a watch through. So first of all, let's watch the trailer itself. And there we go. That was the trailer itself. So uh, absolutely tons of stuff to take in and uh, work out what's going on right there. So let's start it off. And uh, obviously the first obvious thing is boats as a new vehicle and a map that is primarily water based. I can actually, uh, let me find you guys an image of, um, a leaked image of the map. Uh, let me just open this up one moment. So there we go. This is a leaked image of the new map right now, uh, and it looks to be kind of a similar size to last time. We've got Retail Row returning, we've got Pleasant Park returning, and Salty Springs returning. Allegedly, again, I can't confirm whether this is true or false, it's just one of the things that I have seen on the front, so that would make sense. And to be fair, it looks like, you know, you see it would add up with the rivers and where the players are moving. So also we have new weapons. That looks to be maybe an AUG, um, and we've got a, a bandage minigun. So that looks like it'll be able to maybe shoot either health at your teammates or bandages to them to use. Which is always great, you know, in those situations where you can't get a bandage to your teammate and you need to. So you can maybe shoot it to them or hopefully just shoot them health. And then um, it looks like we... Yeah, actually, okay, that definitely look like it looks like an org right there. That's obviously the scar. That looks like it could be a new shotgun. It, oh no, that's a sniper. Um, it looks like there was an M1216 shotgun, an auto shotgun. Um... So that is exciting. We've got new ways to level up, so we've got um, badges. So these kind of remind me of like uh, in Halo, uh, you get kind of badges or in Call of Duty for doing things in the game. So those might be more XP. So that might be like first kill, first elimination, five eliminations, looted five chests or something. So we're seeing a different way to rank up. Also a new chest model, or maybe this is a special chest. So there's a lot of item coming out of that. We've got a launcher, we've got a big pot, a med and a shield. I mean, again, and a scavenger medal upgraded. So these are obviously things you're going to be collecting as you go through the game. Um, it looks like, actually, you can see here the design is different. We have some new kind of trees. The colors look a little different right now, which is cool to see. Gas stations now explode. And there we go. That's another one of those medals. And you can see four eliminations in a match, just as I said. You might be able to get battle medal upgraded. So I assume there'll be some sort of XP within those. And here we've got fishing. This looks like it's gonna be just a toy. You do see, pe see people leveling up and also level up to 127. So previously you can only get to level 100. Interesting to note. Here, obviously you can hide in dumpsters now. That's something brand new. There's gonna be a lot of memes and videoing potential in that. And here, that suggests you can dive and you can swim. So that may be the new way of getting around the map. And I kind of like the idea of swimming down rivers rather than, you know, going in the super jet things or flying everywhere. Maybe, you know, redeploy will be something we see less of, which is very exciting. This seems to be either an emote or a new way of traveling on the, uh, on the bouncy things. And right here, again, you've got someone using that new org weapon. You've got uh, PvP on the boats, which I think will be a lot of fun. Also, key thing, 
you can pick up down teammates, it would appear. Which again is really useful when your teammate gets down and they're not in a good spot and you want to revive but they're not somewhere good. Would be always great just to pick them up and run somewhere away. So we're seeing a lot of new stuff in that sense. And uh, what else do we have? So those are obviously a lot of new skins. They're nothing, nothing stand out. Um, stuff wacky as usual. That's probably going to be a new emote. New building, fish sticks kind of parlor type thing. There is also something else. There is a new weapon that has been spotted. And I believe it is... Where is it? Where is it? It is in this section. There is an FMG-9 on the floor, it would look like, or some sort of new submachine gun. You guys can see that. It's really hard to see on that resolution. Is this a higher resolution? Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, that does look to be something new. Let me pull up a... Um, here we go. Let me see if I can pull up a bigger... Um, bigger version of that. Here we go. Let me pull this up if I can. Uh, wait, can I just maximize this here? Damn it. Right, here we go. There we go. That is a... Uh, you, can see it. you can see it right there. Seems to be some sort of FMG9. So that is very, very good to know. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else kind of stand out. This looks like the map that we saw in the leak. Which is pretty exciting. I mean, that, to me, is all the key information I can see right now. I mean, I'm sure you guys will be picking up more stuff in the comment. So if you spot anything, let me, let me know. Um, but I think those are kind of the main standout new things we can expect in the new Fortnite season. Uh, I'm not going to drag this on for longer than it needs to be, but hopefully you guys enjoyed taking a little early look at that probably before it officially comes out. And hopefully when it does officially come out, there'll be some indication of when the game and the servers will be back. Once again, thanks for tuning in. If you did enjoy, make sure you subscribe with notifications on for uh, when I start live streaming the game, which will be as soon as it's back up and running, provided I'm awake or around. I'll see you all then. Thanks for tuning in once again, and peace.